that I've received an email from outside from a Gmail account. So I can receive mail from outside of the domain, right? So if you're if you're not a dansgames.com, you know, mail holder, if you don't have a dansgames.com mail account, you can still send mail to this to me at dan at dansgames.com from another mail from Yahoo or Gmail or so we can receive mail. Now the other thing is to test can you send mail outside of your domain? So let's test that out, right? So I will try to send a message to myself. Send mail outside test. Okay. Okay. Send mail outside test. So this is outside to another domain. And we'll test it out. So we'll hit send, right? And then we'll just make sure that we send and receive everything off of our account. All right. All right, so that's being attempted to be sent here. It says here the message could not be sent. The setting for your Alco email SMTP server might need to be reconfigured to find the server setting. Please contact. So we need we can't send mail outside of our um, domain. Okay, so what did we learn? We cannot send mail outside of our domain from our client. All right from our just um, regular mail client. But let's see if from our Outlook webmail, right, which uses a different protocol, right, let's see if we can send it through there. So I'll hit new and I'll attempt to do it through webmail. So we'll say Dan okay, at Gmail. Alright, so OWA Outlook web application. All right, and I'll hit send. We'll go to sent items, and you can see here that it was sent through the webmail. Now, by default, Exchange Server 2010 does not allow you to send mail outside of your domain. To do it, you need to set up a send connector, and I've done it, and so my Gmail, it looks like I could send through my Gmail here. Let's see if we can bring that up in Gmail and see it. Okay, you can see that in my Gmail account, I've received the mail from OWA, but I did not receive it from the Windows Live Mail account. So it's going to take some configuring to get that to work. But we did receive it from the webmail. Now, how do you set something like that up so you can send mail outside of your domain? On the server, what you need to do is you need to set up a send connector. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to organizational configuration and you're going to go to let's see here hub transport and you need to set up a send connector. So you, if you go under send connectors here you can see that I created one called it default send connector and if you wanted to create one yourself what you would do is you would say new send connector What you'd do is you'd give it a name, my send connect, and if you want to send to the internet, I, I picked internet. You use different types here, custom, internal, internet, to a partner, um, exchange server, partner server. So anyway, internet, and I'll hit next. And then you're going to address space to which you're going to route this mail to. And if this is just going out to the internet in general, you'll put an asterisk here to go to any address right and click OK and then you'll hit next and then you're gonna use the domain name system MX records to route the mail automatically so you're gonna use your DNS MX records right or you could go through another smart host which would be a smart host would be like another mail server so you could go through other domain mail servers that you have access to but in this case um, I'm going to just use the DNS system MX records to route the mail automatically. And you'll hit next. And then you have to associate it with your server. So then you'll hit next. Right? And then last but not least, you'll hit um, new, create this new send connector. And then it'll go through the process and it'll say finished. And then you just click finish. All right? And I'll cancel this wizard just to double click on the one that I'd created and you can see that the address space was an asterisk 
the network used the DNS MX records. All right, um, and and that's it. Um, since it's using the MX records, another point to to mention here is that if you're just setting up a mail server on your local area network, um, if you don't have if you have not purchased the domain name, you're not going to be able to send mail as that domain name across the internet. So it has to resolve through your MX records, which is going to go through your DNS records. So in other words, you have to own the domain name and have DNS set up for the domain if you're planning on sending mail across the internet. So this will only work if you have DNS set up and you've owned the domain name you're trying to send mail on. Okay, so Send Connector will allow you to send outside of your network. Now, why I didn't get it to work on the client mail is beyond me, so I've got to figure that out and create another video. Okay, in the last video, I talked about how to create a Send Connector on your Exchange 2010 server uh, under Organizational Configuration Hub Transport and create a um, Send Connector so that you could send mail outside of your domain. Right, so I could send it to, let's say, a Gmail account or a Hotmail or a, or a um, Yahoo account or something like that, but something outside of my own domain, right? And I was able to do it from uh, Out, um, Outlook web app, right, from webmail, I could do it. So I was able to do it from here, from webmail, but I was not able to do it from my mail client, right? So when I tried to do it from my mail client, send this mail out, I received this error right here. So I copied this error and pasted it, right? And it says here, error 550, 550, 5.7.1, unable to relay. So I've done a search on the internet, and let's see if we can figure it out. Now, one of the reasons why it might not work is my account that I've configured here, if we go to accounts, right, and properties, right, let's first click on the account and then go to properties. This is just a standard Windows Live Mail client. It's not Outlook Webmail. It's not Outlook Mail or Outlook Webmail. So this is just a mail client. And you can see here that under servers for outgoing mail, SMTP, I could say outgoing mail server, my server requires authentication. So for my server to relay to another outside mail server, maybe it wants authentication. So we'll try that. So we'll click that and um, settings here use the same settings as the incoming mail server, right? That makes sense. Okay, and just click apply and click OK, right? And now let's try to send it and see if it works. So I'll go back to home and I'll go to um, the outbox here. Okay, this is the outbox that I want. This is what I want to send. And then I'll go to send and received and send default account and now it's sending the mail and let's see if it works all right it looks like it worked so if I double check on my Gmail account we'll see if I received that second email all right and here's my email account and we'll go to all right and there it is send mail out Okay, it finally it worked, and so I was able to receive the mail. And now I can receive mail from both my regular mail client, let's say, using POP3 and SMTP, right? Or I could also do it through my webmail. So all it required was a setting of authentication before my server is going to allow it to relay mail. And what does that do? Well, it helps the server not just relay anybody's mail.